Hello everyone, I'm Johan Rodrik and at the moment I'm showing and telling about some uh, of my old artworks that have been uh, less published and I haven't quite shown because on exhibitions I'm usually having like uh, canvases and board paintings that are sturdy enough and heavy duty enough to take uh, the transportation back and forth but uh, paper uh, paper artworks like uh, uh, this one quite a blast for a start uh, my surreal approach of a lipstick and I, I made it like this uh, actually says what it is uh, just my surreal touch but yeah back to the subject that paper artworks aren't very versatile and and uh, the frames uh, are heavy and they break easily so uh, if you have a glass frame then uh, it's more hassle to to get around canvas is uh, no problem and much easier like that's why I haven't exhibited those uh, anywhere but luckily I have a video and I can uh, I, I can still uh, show them and this one uh, initially is uh, actually a, a lino cut and uh, I made it in uh, 2007 in, uh, in art school where I was uh, already uh, studying uh, art as uh, for like like in art university I graduated from there with a bachelor's degree in fine art well it wasn't actually fine art but uh, uh, they uh, wrote uh, humanity humanitarian uh, science or something like this on the diploma so uh, art as uh, as a degree doesn't really exist at, at least diploma wise or in 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 legal paperworks uh, I don't know but yeah quite a blast for start I'll turn it this way for yeah typical uh, typical humor of mine I, I I still can relate to the humor I haven't quite signed it yet because I don't know which way to uh, which way to apply it but yeah it works both ways this way and this way maybe this way too no idea and next one is my drawing of a castle I do like uh, still like uh, drawing uh, something like this but uh, this is in uh, 2006 drawing and as I have it here, I figure that I'll continue this one. I'll scan it in and uh, make it uh, some sort of uh, digital artwork, and it it'll end up online. So it can be uh, also ordered as prints, I guess. If I'm finished with this one, I kind of like how it works. It can also go in one, uh, somewhere in around into my gun artworks that I uh, I do and uh, it has uh, has quite a few quite a few artillery pieces uh, on so yeah goes kind of surrealistic uh, approach of mine which I still do and I, I think uh, I, I'll finish this one it's uh, an interesting like interesting subject like I, I think it's worth uh, doing or uh, overdoing and I'll almost definitely do something of it and uh, next one is kinda self portrait of mine made in as an enigma type enigma type uh, image uh, looking like actually 
quite uh, yeah not quite uh, yeah it's uh, nothing is what it actually uh, actually is this is actually here somebody with a grenade in a trench this is also a trench and uh, somebody with, with a gun in, and a helmet in a trench and something flying and a few barbed wire anywhere probably uh, probably inspired by uh, Erich Maria Remark uh, as I was reading uh, uh, reading uh, uh, his book uh, at the time and in 2007 uh, 2006 I made this one it could have been 2007 also uh, I'm not sure which one of the years it is but doesn't really matter to me it was my high school time drawing and then I, I made something like that and I, I still use the principle like uh, like this that I uh, paint or draw something uh, that uh, isn't what it shows like uh, li exactly like this that something else is something else and like those uh, double images and uh, enigma type paintings uh, I like this approach and I still use it in different forms and some long time ago as it started and also a fantasy um, drawing of some sort I'll most likely finish this one as well uh, completely improvised I still do something like this sometimes and uh, I uh, I'll, uh, I'll work with this one on something I don't know what I'll end up uh, doing out of it but maybe if I'm finished I'll, I'll do an update on this one and oh one of my dry points uh, uh, 2006 oh. and then I was also making dry points I haven't made any uh, etching or any uh, any dry point or any other print like this uh, since uh, 2009 or something 2010 maybe yeah in art uh, art school I was making uh, prints and uh, I haven't done them on my own much and I, uh, this one is one of the first dry points I made like uh, in 2006 or I had some uh, experience in my high school where I also tried this is a high school time actually and uh, I graduated from my high school in 2007 so it's uh, well in the uh, high school time and then I discovered it I can actually still do something uh, I remember how it's done and the last one I'll add uh, watercolor and a simple one same one from high school time which I I was using a little bit uh, watercolors and I have a few more of the watercolors but at the moment uh, I'll, I'll finish with uh, this one I still like doing some nature pictures and uh, contain a little bit nature in my uh, artwork still so I like uh, do the things uh, like this but I'm not doing uh, quite uh, nature views or any landscapes but uh, uh, I'll do kind of uh, my style is a little bit different now this is a student uh, work as I did and one of the oldest ones I have predating my uh, art university I, I have a few but I, I'm at the moment making a 
some video series about my oldest artwork so okay that's it for today and thank you for watching and uh, I'll keep you posted see you next time